Hello all, welcome to another edition of Food Sack. I'm here at Subway checking out the brand new Sub Dog. Now, you may be wondering, what is a Sub Dog? To be honest, when I first heard the term Sub Dog, I thought it was like the non-dominant participant in like that kink where people dress up as dogs. I think it's called Puppy Play. I saw a documentary about it on SBS a few years ago. It made quite a strong impression. Um, a big hello to anyone from that community who is watching. Um, we don't we don't kink shame here at Food Sack. We are a, a safe space. Um, just, you know, make sure it's consensual, make sure it's safe, and uh, do look out for fleas and ticks. Anyway, um, so back onto the sub dog. Um, sorry, I got distracted there. So the sub dog, it's, uh, it's, it's basically a hot dog. Subway have now got hot dogs. Yes. Now, this idea, this idea was actually floated months ago. Months ago. It was actually started as an April Fool's Day prank. You know, a few months ago, Subway announced on their Facebook page that they were bringing out the Sub Dog, a, a Subway sandwich with a hot dog on it. Now, a lot of people thought it was genuine, myself included. I thought it was real for two reasons. Firstly, because it's not implausible. Um, I heard that South Korea already was doing the uh, the hot dog Subway. And secondly, Subway made this post on March 31st. They put the post up on March 31st. So, you know, uh, call me a stickler for the rules here, but I thought April Fool's Day was in April, not at the end of March. So yeah. I guess that was pretty effective as an April Fool's Day strategy. They certainly did make a fool of me. I literally did go to Subway and ask for a hot dog Subway. And uh, I was laughed at. I was laughed at. The sandwich artist laughed at me, laughed in my face. So you let me down on that count, Subway. Disappointing, but they have brought out the sub dog for reals this time. No joke, it is here for reals. So I'm gonna check it out, I'm dead curious. I know the Subway bread is pretty good. It's not exactly hot dog bun bread, but you know, it's Subway bread. Maybe they've got different bread, I don't know. I'm really, really curious. I guess it will come down to whether or not the sausage is good. And um, you know, they have 12 inch sandwiches at Subway. So do they have a 12 inch sausage? If they do, I can't wait to wrap my mouth around it. All right, let's check it out. Oosh. Alrighty. Um, that was pretty cool. I um, had a really lucky encounter in there. I was actually in line behind Mike Ehrmantraut from Breaking Bad and Better Call Saul. What a remarkable coincidence. Anyway, I'm back with the sub dog. Um, it looks pretty messy. Uh, so I will need the tray. Anyway, what an experience. What an experience. I'll run you through it. Well, actually first, let's just take a look. I've seen it, you haven't. Let's take a look. So I did, oh, I did get the uh, the foot long. Why, why did I not grab a bunch of napkins? Silly me. Yeah, um, this, this is going to be, a mess. Oh, anyway, I have some uh, antibacterial wipes, so that'll that'll have to do. This is going to be a mess, but anyway, let's just uh, have a look. So I might just do it like so, and peel that off like thus. Um, yeah, the kid there kind of made bit of a mess of it. I suspect it was his first time making it because he didn't even know how to cut the bread, if it was the normal, like, on the side or down the middle. I said, down the middle, please. Um, all right, I might just bite into it and give you my impressions. So, yeah, there we go. It is, uh, I don't know, it is, it is a, a kind of odd mix of, uh, of Subway sandwich and hot dog, but I am curious. Let's uh, let's give it a go. Hmm. No sausage in that bit. Um. Hang on. Is it sausage yet? All right. There's going to be sausage in this bit. Here we go. Hmm. So that's the sausage we're playing with. Uh, it's not bad. 
it's not bad. It's not bad sausage. It is actually Don sausage. I um I noticed that on the uh, on the advertising in store. It is Don. It is good. It's Don sausages. So not bad. They have sourced the sausage as well. Hang on. Yeah, I'll just antibacterial wipes on standby. Let me take you through it. So first of all, um, the sausages, unfortunately, they are six inch in length. I'll just uh, dissect this sausage. Sorry, this uh, this this sandwich, and show you. Ugh, this, geez, that's really stuck there. The sausage. It it is really. There you go. That's uh, I got uh, I got the mozzarella cheese on it, so it is covered in cheese um, and sauce and pickles. It is by all intents and by is that the right term? All intents and purposes, whatever. It is a normal topping at Subway, so it is kind of odd. They're treating a hot dog sandwich like any other sandwich. The hot dog is just a topping there. It's actually quite good. I'm going to take another bite. Sorry. Hmm. Yeah. It is, um, yeah, like, like any other item there, you can have it your way. Eat fresh. Whatever. So, if you wanted to get cucumber and lettuce on your hot dog, like some sort of weirdo, or carrot, if you're a freak, then you could put that on your sandwich, if you wish. Now, the sausages were cold. They were in the cold meat section, just kind of sitting there. Personally, I like it when a hot dog comes from a Bay Marie full of lukewarm water. That's a quality hot dog right there, but this was uh, not, this was like this weird shriveled six inch sausage, six inch sausage, they don't have 12 inches. What a shame. Um, but it makes sense, because otherwise they'd just be cutting them up, you know, for people that want a six-inch hot dog. Now, the thing is, like, you can get it on any bread, of course. Uh, so the kid wasn't sure to cut the, the bread in half like that or down the middle. I said cut it down the middle, please, because, you know, that's just better, isn't it? It is more traditionally hot dog. And then he, he put the sausage just straight into the bread. Now, I thought it would have been microwaved first, but it wasn't. Um, then they asked me for the salads, and I thought, hang on, I'm not eating a cold hot dog. Like, that's weird. Can you put it in the in the roasting machine? Well, yeah, the oven, please. Not a roasting machine. So they did that. What's wrong with that light? Um, yeah, thankfully. Thankfully. Um, this is their first day of making it, so I, I don't think they know all of the processes just yet. But yeah, I did uh, ask for mozzarella cheese. Um, is that... What is that doing? Sorry, it's... Uh, yeah, um, yeah, and then you can get whatever salads you want. So, of course, I didn't get lettuce or tomato or anything. That's just kind of weird. Um, but I did get jalapenos and onions and pickles, which is quite nice addition to a, uh, a hot dog. Then it came to the sauces. And I lamented the fact that Subway didn't have American mustard. I said it out loud. And the kid said, no, hang on, we do have American mustard. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, American mustard is back at Subway. So, I mean, for that alone, I'm, I'm really happy with this promotion. I don't know if American uh, mustard came back before this, but I'm glad that it is back. The meatball sub with American mustard is god tier level subway sandwich it cannot be beaten when i was 15 i used to eat that all the time and i was uh, i was crestfallen when they got rid of american sub uh, american mustard at subway crestfallen and confused i mean why would you have honey mustard but not american mustard it makes no gd sense um so that's good they have american mustard back but yeah <coughs> Um, just in terms of putting stuff on your hot dog, I suppose, yeah, like, you, you kind of have to decide for yourself. Do you want a traditional hot dog? That way you'd cut it down the middle. If you want a traditional Subway sandwich, you cut it on the side. Um, I don't know if the Subway sandwich artists have been told to do one thing or the other, but if you wanted lettuce, etc., baby spinach and whatnot on your sandwich, you probably should put it on the side. Uh, get it cut on the side. That made it easier to put uh, salads on. Also, made it easier for the sauce. The kid there just squirted the tomato sauce all over the top of the bread and just like managed to avoid the sausage completely, which, uh, you know, is very poor hot dog making uh, stuff, but whatever. On to price. This was $9. Not bad, actually. 
not bad. One of their cheapest uh, offerings, actually. I'm not sure how much the six inch was. I think six dollars. I could be wrong. Anyway, um, yeah, I, th I think this is a pretty interesting adventure. Probably one of the most interesting promotions Subway has had for a while. And they do seem to be making a big deal out of it. As I said, it was one of their most popular Facebook posts when they posted it. So the, the public interest was there. And in fact, some guy called David said, if this isn't real, I'm never going to Subway again. Now, Subway have actually turned that into part of the marketing for this, saying that David helped bring the uh, the hot dog Subway sandwich to Subway. So well done, David, for bringing the sub dog to Subway. I was also one of the people that left a comment on their Facebook page saying, you know, bring it. This this is like dumb to tantalize us with the sub dog, but not actually deliver um, this to, to make it an April Fool's Day joke, which I'll remind you was a day before April Fool's Day. So it's it's pretty heartbreaking to to play with our emotions like that. I, uh, you know, at first I thought that's a bit unfair. Well, I was a bit bitter that I wasn't chosen for like this new uh, Subway spokesperson. But then, you know, given like, past subway spokespeople like it's it's kind of a tainted title um so yeah I, I don't know if i if i really want to be like a subway spokesperson um yeah anyway so check it out it it is one of subway's best things in in recent years i guess I, it's not exactly eating fresh it is, uh, yeah, like a decent sausage, but it is still a sausage. So, yeah, you can probably, well, yeah, there are healthier things on the menu, but whatever. If you want a sausage, you can get a sausage. And if you want, if you want carrot and capsicum on a hot dog, like, you know, if that's a dream for you, then uh, look, your dream has uh, come true. Thanks to Subway, thanks to David, and thanks to the marketing team at Subway for coming up with a pretty tame April Fool's Day joke. So, I'll finish the rest of this. Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, leave a comment. Um, once again, big shout out to the Puppy Play community. Keep it up, have fun. I'll catch you all later, cheers. Sit, Ubu, sit. Good dog.